Yeah. And they literally think that like, like if they make more money and they dip into say like a 22% tax bracket that all their income is gonna be taxed at 22%. First of all, don't ever say, I don't wanna make more money. <laughs> yeah, take all you can get. Yeah, take all you can get. Hey guys, Ray and Andrew back here again with another weekly podcast. And today we're going to talk about tax brackets. So Ray, what can you tell us about IRS tax brackets? So a lot of times we'll get, uh, we'll hear a comment from a client that'll say, well, I don't want to make more money because I don't want to get put into a higher tax bracket. Yeah. And they literally think that like, like if they make more money and they dip into say like a 22% tax bracket that all their income is going to be taxed at 22%. First of all, don't ever say, I don't want to make more money. <laughs> yeah, take all you can get. <laughs> yeah, take all you can get. And second of all, the um, uh, it doesn't really work that way, mm-hmm. right? So if you go into a higher tax bracket, it does not mean that all of your income mm-hmm. will be taxed at that level. We have a progressive uh, tax system here in the U.S. where we have what's called tax brackets. Um, so you have, uh, let's say you are a single guy um, and you make 50000 a year. Mm-hmm. Well, your first tax bracket is going to be the 10% tax bracket. So about your first, and I'm going to use round numbers here because sure. I didn't memorize the, the, the tax brackets, but your first 10000 you're going to pay 10% on, right? And this goes for everybody, right? Mm-hmm. So the first 10000 you make you're going to, that of taxable income is going to be at 10%. Now, from 10000 to uh, 40000 is going to be taxed at 12%. Mm-hmm. So you got your first 10000 that was taxed at 10, and then your next... 10, so between 10 and 40,000 is going to be taxed at 12%. So understand how that works. You're not mm-hmm. the entire 40, it's the dip, the difference between 10 and 40. So 30,000 is going to be taxed at the 12. Gotcha. Right? And then from 40,000 to 86,000, you're going to be taxed at 22%. So the, only the amounts that cross over from 40,000 to 80,000 is taxed at the 22%. So on 50,000, you're looking at about 7,000 in taxes, which is right right around 13%. Now that 13% is like a blended rate, right? Mm -hmm. It's what we call your effective tax rate. Hey, before we continue with this video, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like the information that we put out. We put these videos out weekly, so make sure you don't miss them. Now back to the video. And it's very important to understand your effective tax rate whether you're a business owner or a W-2 employee, because that effective tax rate helps you understand whether or not you're having enough withheld or if you're putting enough away for taxes at mm-hmm. the end of the day. So when it comes to tax brackets, it's just really important to remember that when you go into these higher tax brackets, it's only that income that crosses over into that tax bracket that is taxed at that rate. It doesn't all of a sudden make all of sure. your income, right? Yeah. You're going to pay it at each one of those brackets. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of get that cleared up for everybody and understand uh, the effective tax rate is a little bit more important than than the yeah, actual bracket. It's, it's a graduated tax system. I tell clients all the time, especially if they owe some money at the end of the year and they're W-2 earners, we always go over what their effective tax rate is because that's how much you really need to have withheld in federal taxes every every paycheck, you know, to make sure you... You, you come out okay at the end of the year. Yeah, so absolutely. Um, you know, we're really big on people understanding what their effective tax rate. Whenever we're in the middle of a tax season, we wrap up a tax return and we see somebody owes, we always call them and go over, mm-hmm. hey, this is your effective tax rate. Mm-hmm. You need to look at your W-2 and make sure you're having this percentage withheld from your taxable income to make sure you don't fall short sure. by your end. Yeah. So, yeah, if, uh, if anybody out there needs help understanding their effective rate or uh, help with their withholdings, uh, give us a call. We'd be more than happy to help you with that. Sure. No, that's good information. Thanks, Ray, for going through that with us. Great.